Hi, I'm Clary, an award-winning Italian designer based in Manchester, UK, where I run my design practice, Studio Per My Soul. In this video, you will learn how to create a bold monogram and transform it into a ready-to-print sticker. To increase my business brand awareness, I often create promotional marketing material to distribute to current and potential clients. Stickers are the most cost-effective product to generate valuable exposure, and you can use them anywhere, even on your laptop. Discover how to quickly produce an exclusive design and combine it with contact details or your core message. Open the starter file provided and select on the type tool. Click anywhere you want the line of text to begin. We will be designing a monogram. A monogram is made by ideally two interwoven letters and serves as a practical purpose to identify you or your business. My business name is Studio Pre My Soul. Therefore, I'm going to type the two initials, which are S and P. With the text box selected, I will move to the properties panel to modify the font under character options. Select a font of your choice. You can use the font which is available on your computer or look for the font in use for your brand. In this case, I will use Gotham as it is my studio brand typeface. If you do not have access to your font of choice and you're not a font expert, don't worry. You can browse the incredible Adobe font library and activate the most appropriate font directly in Illustrator. In the character panel, click on the Find More tab, browse the font list and select a font. Before making a choice, preview the font on your monogram. You can do so by hovering over the font name. Filter the specific characteristic of the font that you're looking for to narrow down your research. Pick a font and click the Activate icon display next to the font. The Activate icon will show a check mark as soon as the font is activated and available for use. I'm going to stick with my brand font to communicate and reinforce my brand identity. If you do have access to your brand font, or if you have found a similar one, I advise you to do so as well. Once you're done, create an outline by using the shortcut Shift Option O, that's Shift Alt O on Windows. This will transform the font into a shape. That means that you'll be able to use and modify the monogram as a graphic object. Bear in mind that at this stage, the text is no longer editable. To treat each letter as a single shape, click on Object Menu and Ungroup. And now you'll be able to move each shape independently. I'm going to move the letters around and play with them until I find a solution in which they are interlaced, but the monogram is still very readable. When you're happy with the result, click and drag over the shapes to select them both. Then I will move to the Properties panel to find the Pathfinder options and click on the first icon to unite the shape into one single object. Resize your monogram by dragging up from one of the corners of its bounding box while holding shift to scale it proportionally. Now, let's create a neutral background for the sticker so the monogram will stand out. Click on your shape and select Object, Path, Offset Path. The Offset option window will pop up. You will be able to create a larger path based on your shape. I'm going to offset it of four millimeters you can also pick between meter, round, or bevel, which will give you pointed, rounded, or sloping edges. Pick your favorite. I'm going to choose round because I like the contrast between the pointy edges of my type and the roundness outside. Once you're done, select a color. I will pick white to have a perfect sharp contrast. If you do have brand guidelines, make sure to refer to them and follow the background color specifications of your brand. Fantastic, we're almost done. I will move the design outside the artboard so we can see the background with no issues. The background serves also as a great location where we can place relevant information about you or your business. Ideally, how to reach you, like a website. I will use my social media handle. Double click on the background shape to isolate it. Then press Command C on Mac or Control C on Windows to copy it. Click this top left pointing arrow to exit the isolation mode and then paste the copy of the background in front by pressing Command F or Control F on Windows. With this new shape selected, go back to the Type tool, click and hold to reveal the hidden tools, select the Type on a Path tool and go back to the Properties panel to set text formatting options. This text is definitely going to be quite smaller and thinner. Type your text. These brackets will appear at the beginning of the type. If you wish to flip the direction, drag the bracket across the path. When you find the ideal position, I suggest transforming the text into outline by using the shortcut at Shift Option O, that's Shift Alt O on Windows. And we're done. It's time to save our file so we can send it to a sticker printer. 
Select the artboard tool from the left toolbar and click on the background to make sure the entire design is contained in the artboard. Then use the shortcut Shift Command S on Mac, Shift Control S on Windows to save as a new format. Pick a destination of choice on your machine, select the correct artboard, then choose EPS from the format dropdown. And finally, click on Save. EPS is the professional format we have ready in order to send a sticker for print. You're all set. It's time to email the sticker to the printer. Now it's time for you to try out these techniques and produce your sticker. Again, I'm Claudia from Print My Soul, and I look forward to working with you in the next project to elevate your business communication strategy.